Hey guys, it's Vimal here and welcome back to another video on my channel. So a lot of you guys keep asking me in the comment section and not only you people, a lot of my friends and relatives also like keep calling me and ask like, Hey Vimal, can you suggest us a good mid-range phone around like 20,000 rupees? Like which one should we buy? And if you're also looking for something similar like that, like you know, that offers a good display, battery life as well as good cameras, well this video can be quite helpful for you. So you know Samsung has launched their brand new mid-range series phone the Galaxy M31s a few days ago. Well I've been using that phone as my daily secondary driver along with my Galaxy Note 20 Ultra as my primary phone and in this video I'll share my experience and my review on that phone guys. So just take a seat grab your popcorn because there's a lot to talk about this phone. Let's get started. The Galaxy M31s is the newest phone in their M-series lineup that packs some really cool features like there's a 64 megapixel monster quad camera setup and is probably the only M-series phone that comes with the IntelliCam setup and is capable of shooting single take feature. It's a premium feature that is found only in their uh, you know premium series lineup of phones and this is the first time they've introduced it in the budget M-series lineup also. And that is one feature along with that it comes with a beautiful super AMOLED display guys and a monster 6000 mAh battery. So these were some of its like highlights and you know main features but it also has some of its cons as well which I felt uh, that I'll be sharing at a later part in the video. So we'll be talking about both the pros and cons in this video guys. So first let's start about the design and the build quality. The Galaxy M31s is a beautiful looking phone guys. They've definitely stepped up their game from the previous M30 or 31 and this one looks very attractive. It's got that similar glass like finishing found on the premium A series lineup but let me tell you the back is still made of plastic. It's made of high quality polycarbonate material and has this beautiful gradient like finishing. The one we have right now is the Mirage Blue Edition and it's got this silver to blue sort of gradient finish and I really like this color. The color looks a lot better than the previous M31 but I would advise you to you know use a case on it because see it's plastic right on long term usage you'll definitely attract some micro scratches on the back and you don't want that to happen. So just put on a case and that will help you protect the phone and also it easily attracts smudges after using it for quite some time guys. So that is about the build quality. Now if you ask about the usability and how is the durability and all that stuff well let me tell you the phone definitely feels a bit heavy and bulky and it's also a bit thick now that is because it has a 6000 milliampere huge battery guys so if you want battery life then thickness has to be compromised right well it weighs around like 203 grams but let me tell you after using it for quite some time i actually got used to this weight and it doesn't feel like i'm holding like a bulky phone in my hand the weight distribution of the phone is also very nice it's quite balanced and you know feels great when you use it in your one hand in single handed mode as well very comfortable to use phone. So that was about the design and the build quality. Now first let me tell you about the fingerprint reader on it. Now unlike the previous M30 or M31s, this one has a side fingerprint scanner built into the power button guys. And let me tell you that it definitely gives a premium feel. And it's a lot better than the back rear facing fingerprint reader. The fingerprint reader was working like very well. It was accurate and fast also. I have to say it's a bit faster than the previous gen fingerprint readers and gets the job done. Just check out this clip. And one more small thing I have to tell you is this thing does have a 3.5mm headphone jack. So yes you can use your wired headphones with this phone as well. Okay so let me tell you about the display on this phone. The Galaxy M31 comes with a 6.5 inch Super AMOLED 1080p display and let me tell you it's one of the finest and best quality displays I've seen on a phone. The screen looks sharp and bright, there's great amount of detail, love the colors as well, they look rich and vibrant and the dynamic range is also pretty good. I can surely say guys this is one of the best Super AMOLED displays you can find on a mid-range phone. Now some people might say that it's only a 60Hz phone right so will it be good for gaming? See guys if you are looking for high refresh rate displays like maybe 90Hz or 120Hz on a mid range phone in around like 20-25,000 rupees 
Then the phones that come with those sort of high refresh rate do not offer AMOLED or Super AMOLED panels. You only get a regular LCD panel guys. So see if you want higher refresh rate then you'll have to sacrifice the AMOLED quality. But if you want the Super AMOLED quality then you know you'll have to sacrifice the refresh rate. So if you're not a gamer, you want a phone for great entertainment purpose, watching movies, YouTube videos and stuff like that, get this phone. It's got this beautiful display and you'll be like very happy with it. If you ask about the sound, it's got this single down firing speaker and the speaker quality is also very good. It produces good quality sound with great clarity and the output is also satisfactory. Just check out this small clip, so you'll get an idea on the audio quality of this phone. And what else was left to make RGB, right? Well, to be surprised, this is something out of the box and I never thought even this would be made in RGB, guys. Now moving on, if you ask about the call quality, see the call quality experience was pretty good. I faced no sort of issues using this phone. Uh, the other person could clearly understand what I was speaking and I could also clearly hear what they were speaking through the built-in earpiece. Okay, now comes the interesting part, the performance of this phone. The Galaxy M31s is powered by Exynos 9611 octa-core CPU. Now some of you guys might say that, oh no, the M31s comes with Exynos 9611. It might not offer that good gaming experience and all that stuff. But let me tell you, you might be partly right and partly wrong. See, Exynos 9611 is a decent CPU guys, it's not like that bad also. See, it's great for normal day-to-day -day usage guys, I didn't face any sorts of lags or stutters or even slowdowns while opening and closing apps and you know switching between apps and stuff like that. If you're a normal user, you know, who just uses your phone for social media or just checking check your mails and you know, simple stuff like that or on the go uh, word editing and stuff like that, this phone will easily get your job done. But if you're a gamer, you might ask like, can this phone handle a good gaming? And let me tell you, yes, you can even play games on this phone without any issues. And that includes PUBG as well. You can play PUBG on this phone from low to medium graphics. And let me tell you, if you're just like a, a normal casual player who plays like one or two matches a day, then this can easily handle it, guys. But say if you're like a professional gamer or you play a lot of games for like hours and hours on your phone, then let me tell you, this is not the perfect phone for you. It's not made for gaming, right? So it's not suitable for gamers. And also one more thing I have to mention is, uh, initially for like 10 to 15 minutes, if you play games, nothing will happen it. Everything was running smooth. But on prolonged usage, say for like 25 to 30 minutes, if you keep on gaming on this thing, I felt the phone was be heating up a bit. And also it starts lagging, you know, thermal throttling happens and it starts lagging, especially in uh, intensive games like PUBG. So that is one thing you'll have to keep in mind. So that was about the performance part. See, it's a decent CPU, but not made for gaming. It's a 21,000 rupees phone and Samsung is still using Exynos 9611 only. I'm only getting bored like why Samsung is using this uh, CPU these many times in all of their models, M-series models. I hope Samsung can at least you know, upgrade, the, upgrade to something better in at least the next uh, M-series phone. Please Samsung, this is like a request for me. Don't use an Exynos 9611 in your next M-series phone. Please take this into consideration. All right, moving on, let's talk about the cameras now. The Galaxy M31s features an IntelliCam 64 megapixel quad camera setup. And let me tell you, the M31s is a camera king in this segment, guys. One of the best cameras you'll find on a phone around this price range. I've used a lot of phones from Realme and all that stuff, guys. But let me tell you, nothing even comes close to this. The 64 megapixel f1.8 primary camera is producing beautiful results. I'll show you all the samples of this at the end of this video. Make sure to check them out. The results were really stunning. There's a great amount of detail in the photos. The colors were on point, you know, punchy and rich and the white balance and dynamic range, everything was good. Not only the primary camera, even the 12 megapixel ultra wide angle and the 5 megapixel macro cameras were also doing a very decent job. You'll have to check out the samples that I shot using this phone. The only thing is the low light performance of the camera was not up to the mark. I was actually expecting a bit more out of it. But anyways, it's pretty much the same with most of these budget mid range category phones. Phones. And talking about the front camera, it's got a 32 megapixel front facing camera and the front facing camera quality was also pretty good. Just check out these samples. 
All right, so we're almost getting to an end in this video. So let me share you my experience about the software on board and also about the battery life. As usual, all these Samsung phones come with One UI 2.1 and the experience is pretty good. One UI is like one of my favorites after stock Android and it offers a really clean and decent experience with a lot of customizable features. And if you talk about the battery life, well, battery life on this phone is like pretty good. It comes with a 6000 milliampere battery and easily lasts around like one and a half to two days on my type of usage, guys. I usually use this phone to take calls, watch some videos on YouTube, stream Netflix and, you know, sometimes do photography as well, take some photos here and there and don't do much of gaming guys and with this sort of usage i was easily getting around like one and a half to two days of non-stop battery life on a single charge and the good part is it also supports fast charging and that to 25 watt fast charging guys so previously on my previous m31 or m30s uh, it usually used to take around like two and a half to three hours to fully charge that phone but now with this one it, it only takes around like one and a half to one hour 40 minutes that's a great improvement in the charging speed so yeah that was about the battery life well that's pretty much it guys that was like my quick review on the galaxy m31s see if you're looking for a mid-range phone that should have like a good amoled display great for watching youtube videos streaming movies and stuff like that and along with that it should have some really nice quad camera setup with you know ultra wide angle macro shots and also that single take feature and should offer like great battery life then this can be your choice of the phone guys. But again, if you're thinking of buying a phone solely for gaming purpose, like playing PUBG and stuff like that, then I would not recommend you to get this phone because it's not meant, it's not made for gaming guys. Light and casual gaming, yes, you can do, but not dedicatedly made for gaming. Well, that's it. That is what I wanted to say about this phone. I hope you all really enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos. And I'll see you all in my next one.